when you're filling the bioreactor, be sure to wear your safety equipment. Be sure and use a mask when you're putting all the leaves into the bioreactor or into your soaking. And also use long sleeves so you don't get cut on the wire mesh of the cage. Now, when it comes to selection of materials to put in the bioreactor, uh, leaves are good, but when they're when they're whole like this, you have a problem with them breaking down and they'll stack and pack and they'll add a leaf. Uh, the best thing to do is to run them through a chipper shredder. You can see the material is all broken open, so it'll biodegrade faster. If you decide to use wood chips, I wouldn't use them unless you really have to to keep the density of the pile down, but you want to make them. 3 8 minus, so it's something that you can, if you want to, spread on a field that doesn't disrupt your, your activities too much. Now when you're, when you're soaking the material, you can inoculate the water, the bath, uh, with some, some compost you have, just to, so you're, you're putting the biology all over the material that you're putting in the bioreactor. Just about a handful. When I fill the bath, I'll put about three or four quarts worth of material in. Now you want to soak the material as good as you can at this point. You want to make sure that it's wet because this is the only chance you have to get it wet. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can use something like this, press the leaves on the water, or you can get into the mix yourself with your feet. say you want to make sure you get everything wet. This also breaks up the clumps so everything gets good and soaked. Well, once you have it soaked, you can pitchfork it in. And I suggest getting a manure fork. It's a six-time fork. It's, it works a lot better for this situation. But you'll just Fork it up into the wheelbarrow. You notice you see the water is draining out of this, so you're not wasting any water as you build these piles. And while you're waiting for that to drain, you just start another batch. Again, same method, and this is also a good place to pick out any trash. Now the benefit of this is when you put it in this water bath, as you'll see in a minute, all the dirt and the rocks float to the bottom. So you get a relatively clean compost when you're done, if you do it this way. Once that's drained, you just take your bucket, put it underneath, and scrape your material in. Get several buckets together before you get up to fill your bioreactor, and then you can take this out. start all over again. Remember I was telling you about all the rocks and the dirt settling out? I'll show you. As you see, you get a lot of dirt out of this material. And, and you get a better, cleaner pile and you, you do get lose the rocks in the process so they're not in your compost. That's about it on how to fill the bioreactor.